Hey guys, uh, I think I found the Undertaker. I was just sitting here in the... Whoa, yeah, he's got a lot of help. There we go, we'll sit right here. Whoa. But yeah, this is definitely him. He had the shovel, and he summons the undead. Seems like it. Hey, let's get you in the water, guy. Beautiful. Haha, <laughs> nice. Uh-oh, I think he summoned someone. I can't see it. Anyway, this is nice because this is one of our... Uh, bosses? Bosses, yeah. The Undertaker. Awesome. Let's get these guys out of here. Oh, there's the other guy that he spawned. Whoa, I have, like, very little health. I didn't even realize he must have hit me for a bunch of my health. Okay, can I get this on so that I can go like... Oh, that was a bad idea, probably. Yep, let's, uh, not do that. Alright, we can close. Getting somewhat close. Thank goodness we have this sword that makes us go way, 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 way faster. Uh, anyway, let me do my normal intro. Um, welcome to another episode of MC Eternal. I did not plan on recording today. I actually have to go do a bunch of things around the house because I have friends coming over, but I was just on. I was looking for, oops, I was looking for the Ithaqua in the forest, and this guy spawned underneath me for some reason, but that works for me. Bonk. Woohoo. Oh, nice. That's where you get the undying heart. Gotcha. All right, cool. Now I got one legit instead of having to cheat one in. I don't know why I didn't show that. Because usually for, you know, it shows, like, where you can get it from. Like, what, what drops it. But I added it to the quest shop just in case. But there you go. I have another one. Cool. Okay. Well, that's that's it for now. I have to go do stuff. But <laughs> I just needed to record that because... Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's do this, too. Collect this. Oh, nice. Dreadlich staff. Nice. What does this do? Oh, okay. Cool. How much damage does it do? No clue. Uh, and then what about this? Giant pickaxe. Okay. Thank you guys. Well, I mean, I'll see you guys in the rest of this episode. <laughs> Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of MC Eternal. In the last episode, we were working on... Um, oh, wait. Right. I already did the intro for this episode. We fought the Undertaker. Yeah, well, I didn't do much of a much of an intro, so hi. <clears throat> um, last episode, we were working on a bunch of tech stuff. Nolan joined us at the very end. I'll show you guys what, what we did uh, for him. <clears throat> kind of the same stuff that I, that I helped Kate get, except a little bit more. We actually went so far as to make him his own jetpack. So as you can see down here, <clears throat> we made this little laboratory for him. We made... Uh, Oh god, a bunch of survivalist generators which we left on. Uh, I even gifted him one of our RF co or Spectre coils, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we put down some survivalist generators, we uh, made an induction furnace by using the alloy kiln, and we, or induction smelter, in order to make these conduits, and then we put, hooked up a pulverizer, an alloy smelter, uh, this thing, the crystal... The, the atomic reconstructor. We have a electrolytic separator so that he can charge his jetpack whenever he needs to. And the metallurgy confuser made the advanced alloy and stuff like that. So there you go. Uh, so that's what we did while off camera. So he played for a while and we made a jetpack together and he flew around with me and it was fun. Um, let's go check. Let's just go fly over just for a little while. What the heck? What is that? Glowing mushroom. Cool. Okay, let's go fly over the taiga real quick. Just uh, just a quick flyover because I want to see if we can find an Ithaqua. That would be really nice. Because we still need that foul bristle to keep going on the fish is dead on rising quest. What was that? Oh. There's a frigid here. Oh, he's a... Nope, 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 nope. Not happening. <laughs> Man, 
Okay, he was a tier three boss. He made me slow and he was fast, so that was a recipe for disaster. Okay, what is that? That's a skeleton with armor. There's a midnight portal that's been there for ages for some reason. I thought they'd go to go away every night. Uh, thanks. <laughs> it's not New Year's right now. I just turned 4 p.m. Maybe. Oh my God. That's funny. Um, I think that it thinks that it's 12 o'clock, but it's really 4 p.m. on December 31st right now. Of 2020, by the way. By the time this video is coming out, since I'm starting to post this coming Monday, it'll probably be around August of 2021. Hopefully by then all this coronavirus stuff will be over with, said and done, but I mean the country's milking it out, so probably not. Um, it's, uh, it's really tiring. Maybe by August it'll, it'll finally be done. Uh, milking it so much. I mean, yeah, it's still dangerous, but it's not as dangerous as, every, as, as everyone makes it out to be. That's my opinion, though. We could probably go back to normal now. It's literally just a flu. Come on. Come on. Once we have a vaccine, then there's no excuse. So, And the vaccine should be coming out soon. So there you go. Um, I'm not seeing anything. But yeah, so this will probably be in August or late July. Uh, that this is coming out, and I don't know. I wonder what it's like in August 2021. I wonder what the world's like. I wonder if we have a new pandemic that everyone's freaking out about, imagine. Right when we make the vaccine for this one, they'll come up with another one. <laughs> another reason why should we, we should be scared and we should stay inside and they should have total control over the entire country. That's, that's what they'll come up with. Um... But who knows? Hopefully, hopefully everybody will chill for a second. Um, okay, I'm not seeing a guy. I'm not seeing a guy that I want to see. It's super annoying. This, 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 this whole thing. I kind of want to stand by the village because there's that one thing. I don't remember. No, not Sludge Lord. Um, there's something that like only comes to a village or something. Isn't the bosses? What? I could have sworn. I could have sworn I I read like a a bounty or something that was like. It comes to villages. And I had to kill it or something. Maybe that was the Undertaker. Oh, yeah, it was. It was the Undertaker. Right? Yeah, it says sieges upon villages. So somehow I found one with, uh, without it being very near a village. I mean, I was kind of near the village. But not super, super near it. I don't know. Maybe I have to stand in one place. I don't want to waste too much time in the episode doing this, though. I should probably do this off kit. Off camera, honestly, I'm kind of thinking of just completing the task because I feel like it's stupid to ask. If it's this rare, it's stupid to ask your players to kill even more than one, let alone kill like 20 of them is what I would have needed to complete the quest legit. And now I'd probably need three. And the last one I killed didn't even drop any of the foul bristle, which is crazy. <laughs> Like, to make them this rare, to have that much health, be that strong, and then have a chance to not even drop some of the stuff that you need. And the quest was that you had to get, like, 18 of it originally. That's just not That's just not good design, in my, in my opinion. Honestly, I feel like it should be just kill one, not freaking sit and grind out the stupidness. Anyway... Uh, this episode, we're going to work on mechanism stuff. I'm pretty sure we can knock out almost, or probably all of it, uh, in one go here. What's con what's concerning to me is that, um, this has one, it has 59, 58 million RF in it, 
and it has been charging for I don't know how long a really 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 long time see what I what I you know honestly okay actually I have an idea uh, we should we should try to as quick as possible we should try to complete advanced science and then from there we can see we'll, we'll see okay so here we go oh, oh oh something else I wanted to point out this is done I took down the Ruby uh, generator because I have 18 chrome dust and that is all I need I just needed oh no 13 chrome dust sorry um, ooh, aluminum aluminum pulverized aluminum nice I just needed uh, I think eight and I have 13 so beautiful let's just stick this in there apparently not that works though I don't make aluminum uh, can I do it in here hello how do I make it oh that's right an industrial blast furnace okay maybe we'll focus on that this episode then so let me let me remind myself what it takes to make an industrial blast furnace it was this one 34 standard machine cases to form a 3 by 4 multi-block structure with a blast furnace machine placed in front of the in, in front the center of the bottom layer cheese okay 3 by 4 by something else casing here we go what 30 oh, oh oh some of it's in the grinder right Okay, hold on. Let's uh take this all down. We're gonna take that. Take that off. That that. Okay, so let's take this away for now. Beautiful. That can stay there. Okay, so we need a three by four. Oh yikes. Okay, that's fine. Because we can still go like this. Block that off. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, so 34, is it this? Yes, so three by four by three. Oh no, that's 36. Is the center two water, probably? Or lava or something? Oh my goodness, I don't, okay, hold on. Let's, let me just look it up. Industrial, whoa, where's that? Okay. Industrial Blast Furnace Structure Tech Reborn. Okay. The Blast Furnace is a multi-block multi structure used to smelt tough metals. It has an input rate of 512 Fe per tick and an inter internal buffer for 40 Fe. The smelting ability... Okay, that's not, that's not giving me the actual... Here we go. Okay, the first layer is nine casings. The second layer is eight casings with an empty central hole. The third layer, again, contains eight casings. With the, okay, so it's the same thing, but it's up instead of sideways. So I almost had it. Oh, God. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There. Um, so what I need oops, is this to be hollow. Uh-oh. Okay. Sorry about that, my dog started barking. My dad must be home. So uh, for now, I'm just gonna go like that. Ugly, but it's only temporary. And then that and that. And then, uh oh, I missed one somewhere? I should have two left. Shoot. There it is. Bonk, 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 okay. And then is there anything in the middle? No. Place the blast furnace in the ce center bottom block and connect it to a power source. Okay, gotcha. That would be there. Or right here, actually, so that's fine. Let's get it. Blast furnace and some conduits. Shoink. Okay. Up up here. Oops. We're gonna place it right there. Incomplete multi-block. Oh shoot! This is the bottom center block. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Wait. We can do this. This is fine. There we go. Okay. It's got its heat. 
I need to go like this. Bonk. Charging up. And... Does it need more heat or something? Uh... 1700 heat. How do I make it hotter? <laughs> what? How do I make it more warm? The multi-block made from industrial machine casing will allow the furnace to have 3230 heat. Two blocks of lava in the center will add 500 heat. There we go. That's what I figured. Thought you'd probably have to fill it with lava or something. Okay. Lava. Of course. Can I use that to... Okay, you know what? Bucket. What? I'm out of buckets? Okay. Interesting. Thought I had a bunch. Just make a bunch. There we go. Nah, I'm not just gonna steal it from there. Let's just go spawn. I know there's a little lava pool over here somewhere, I believe. Oh, you know what? Brenna might have gotten rid of it. Oh no, I think it was over here. There it is. Whoa, I forgot. I'm not <laughs> holding it in my offhand. Yoink, yoink. Home. All right, down. Nope, one down. Okay, and then we'll go like this. Oh my god, obnoxious. Bam, and bam. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Okay, beautiful. That's still not enough. What? <laughs> uh Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Bro. Oh, that's that's rough. For real, that's rough. Oh, and I just burned one! I hate myself so much. Thank God there's two extra. Okay. So. <sighs> it needs to be made out of industrial machine casing in order for it to be strong enough. Reinforced. Okay, machine casing. Yeah, so reinforced. I don't need the advanced, which is, thank God. Haha, <laughs> because I'd need chrome to make that anyway. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. So I can turn the normal stuff into it. But I need so much steel, are you kidding me? Holy moly. I would honestly rather do this. Right? Would I? No, because I... I used all my advanced ones, huh? Yep. Highly advanced machine frame. Can I turn this into... Lower tiers. Oh, you actually can. Wait, no. What? Oh, okay. This is like the next tier. Oh, machine frame, and that makes the casing. Gotcha. All right. Well, um, I can turn these, but there's so much steel. How much steel do I have? Fifty-six and twenty plates. In order to turn. Let's see, how much how much would I actually need? I need 34. So I would need to turn... Uh, 34 minus 8 is 26. Yeah, 26 times 6. There's 156 steel plates. So I need a lot more steel. Okay, I have 16 in there. 156. How much do I have right now? I have 84 plus 8. It's 92. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh, that's so annoying. That's literally obnoxious. I hate it so much. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding off camera. Gonna get some advanced alloy and stuff, and then uh, I'll be right back.
Oh, yikes. Okay, so let's take some. Oops. Well, I'm not gonna. Have more of the carbon plates. Okay, a little bit. Um, oh. Ha! All right, I'm back. Restart the timer. Or, uh, yeah. There we go. Restart the timer. Okay, so I have a bunch of advanced alloy plates now. I've got a bunch of carbon plates as well. Um, so what we need to do is make advanced machine frames, right? Which takes basic machine frames, and I have very little, uh, refined iron, but now I do have a bunch of refined iron. So, let's see, how many will I need? Let's just make a bunch. I actually might already have a bunch. Or, uh, wait, I thought I... Oh, I have a bunch of refined iron. Okay, well, I have even more. What is this? Basic machine frame? Basic machine... Yeah, I have none of these. Okay, so let's make eight of those. Like that. And then we're going to make all of those into advanced machine frames. And then we're going to make that into reinforced machine casing, right? Right, we're going to need a ton of this. So this is going to make four each. I already have eight, so I need 26, so I just need to make the recipe seven times to make 28. Seven times six is 42 steel plates, so I have enough steel plates, good. Um, and I have enough advanced machine frames, because I just made eight. I just made it, need to make it seven times, so then we just need to go like this. Not like that, we'll go like this. Make a bunch of those. 10 of them. Is that going to be enough? No, it shouldn't be. Let's see, I have 10 of those now. And I need to make it make, make this 7 times, so I need 14. So, I need to make more of these. Sure. And we'll make more of these. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll make more of these. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll make all of that into this. 1, 2. Nope. Okay. That's why. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. There we go. And then I accidentally put some away. Bam! Ta da! Okay, so we got our 40. 40? How did I wind up with 40? Oh, I made too many. Oh, I guess I already had some in there. <laughs> L! Okay, here we go. Now! Does it still have the chrome in it? Yeah, I'll take that out. We're gonna go like this. Make a nice little floor, a donut. Oh, I'm stuck here. 
donut, then like that. And then a roof. All right, that gives it 1,700 heat. I don't even need to add the lava, but I might as well. Why not? There we go. And that gives it 2,200 heat. And if we put the chrome dust in, it is cooking up. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that is going to get us one step closer to that, which is super, super cool. Uh, tungsten, how do you... Yeah, so I'm going to need this for the tungsten anyway. Which is cool. And then hot tungsten steel also needs this. 3,000 heat? How? How is that even possible? No. No. No way. No way. Oh my god. I have to make it out of like the next tier of these things. Bruh. Machine casing. Advanced machine casing. Oh. 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 Why? Oh, why? Okay, so we are not done. We need that ruby thing going still. That ruby generator. Because we need to be making chrome all the time. Let's see. To get 34, I need to make this nine times. Nine times six is... 54, so I need 54 chrome. Uh, oh, and it takes highly advanced machine frame. Well, okay, wait. What if I did... That takes iridium, but I have a ton of iridium. But that takes so many of these? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I would need, like, loads of rubber if I did it this way. But I want to do it that way. I don't want to have to make all of these. Look at this. Oh my god. And it takes four. Okay, so that's 54. It's just six times nine. Plus another four for each one of these. Ti titanium. Titanium plate. Oh god. Oh lord. Oh god. This is going to suck. This is really going to suck. I didn't know it would suck this bad, but it's definitely going to suck. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's do the math here for the chrome. So there's 54 already, plus another 9 times 4, which is 36. So 54 plus 36 is 100, right? No, 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 90. Yeah, 90. So 90 chrome in total. Oh, God. And then uh, also 36 titanium, and I have 16. Whoa. Is that still working? Okay, good. It's very slow because it sucks a ton of power. All right. 90. 90 chrome, 36 titanium. I have, ah, oh, I have 28. So I just need a little bit more titanium. I can't remember how you get this. Grinder. Wait, no, 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 R. Okay, from titanium dust, which comes from UU matter. Okay, no. Small pile. Comes from bauxite. Right! Which I have a ton of, right? I think I have a bunch of this. Bo bauxite. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so can I stick this in a pulverizer then? No, I cannot. How do I make it into bauxite dust? An industrial grinder or normal grinder? But oh, does industrial grinder give more or something? It gives four and aluminum. Okay, I don't care about that. I'll just put in a normal grinder then. Do we have a grinder? I always forget what is up here. We do not. We might have made one though. Oh, we have an industrial grinder. That's what I had hooked up before. Ugh, let's just make a grinder then. Grinder. Okay. Oh, come on. Do I have more of these? I think I already have some of those. Okay, let's try Let's try moving it in. Okay, good. We do have... Nope. There we go. Bonk. Okay, we've got our grinder. We're going to... 
Up up here. We're gonna... Uh, we don't have any room over here, so let's put it over here. Our grinder. We're gonna slap that in there. It's gonna make a ton of bauxite dust, which will make a bunch of small... Okay, so wait. Every eight? Was it eight or twelve? Twelve bauxite dust makes two small piles of, of titanium. Titanium. So, yeah, small pile comes from, so two comes from 12. Dang. Okay, so I have 28. I need 36, meaning I need eight more. Um, so I need to do this recipe 16 times. 16 times 12 is... 192, and I had 64 plus 50, which is 114. So we're a little bit short on the box site, but that shouldn't. Oh no 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 no! I'm gonna have a. Oh, we're gonna have way more than I need, because each one makes four. Duh. Okay. So, yeah, we're good on titanium. Cool. Good to know. So we just need to have our. Uh, Ruby generator running still. Huh. Okay. Well, that's for the future. I'm not going to work on that right now. Uh, we're pretty much at the end of the episode, I think, as where we are. So, let me see. We've got two and a half minutes left. That looks so ugly. <laughs> Get a chrome go. Ugh. Is there any other way to make chrome? Right, it was this. Yeah, and otherwise it's just already having chrome. That does make two each, but what does this come from? Oops. The the uh, the old the other thing, the old fear right or whatever it's called, doesn't really have a recipe. It comes from yellow garnet, which is just probably just as rare as as uh yeah, whatever. But anyway, um, so now we have two things that need to be going into the electrolyzer we got this stick this in oh right what do I need to have empty cells pretty easy I'm pretty sure it's just 10 empty cells so I need eight per I'm just gonna make a bunch of them empty cell there we go tin and glass bonk there we go all right stick that in there that is sucking the power out. Oh wait. Oh yeah, it's not gonna. Oh, it's not gonna work, is it? Until the chrome is done. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's not do this then. Whoa! I always forget that I have a sword that can levitate things. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Oh wow! That was barely even charging anyway. This thing takes so much power. <laughs> Holy moly. I should honestly probably hook it up to the other side. But, you know what, whatever. We've got this generator here. It's just slow. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, we used our whole episode just looking at these two things. Man, I can't believe that I have to get 3,000 heat. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Chrome can chrome dust can be obtained by electrolyzing nine ruby dust or twenty uvarovite dust. Combine tungsten and steel in a blast furnace housing three thousand heat to obtain hot tungsten steel. Yep, I know. And that's not possible unless I do the advanced, so that's why I need the chrome. I need so much chrome. 96 chrome. That's the math that I did, right? Yeah, 54 plus... No, 90 chrome. That's right. And I have 13 as it stands. <laughs> Amazing. 13 chrome. Beautiful. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. And next episode, we'll actually be working on this... Oh, what? This stuff. 
Yeah, mechanism. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, have a great day. Goodbye.